Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our full Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about chaining pipes. What, what are chaining pipes? How do we use multiple pipes on a particular data input? Uh, what are the different types of use cases? We will learn all about that in this tutorial. My name is Sridhar, welcome back. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I am here to share my knowledge with you on modern technologies. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by subscribing and liking my videos. Thank you so much in advance. So far, in the Angular 9 full tutorial series, we have seen all the, uh, the all the around 20-25 tutorials, starting from basic Angular introduction to Angular CLI to modules to decorators, components, directives, uh, data binding, ng4 class style. Uh, we have started from the last three episodes. We have started focusing on pipes. Uh, we learned about using pipes, built-in pipes. In the last episode, we learned about parameterizing pipes. And today we are going to extend that knowledge by learning about chaining pipes. So we learned that, uh, what's the recap? So what are pipes? Pipes are used to transform the data. So we, we pipes will take a data input and convert that into a desired format, which is the output. The pipes are written using the pipe operator. We have seen there are different types of pipes like built-in pipes, parameterized pipes. Today we are learning about chaining pipes. Let's get that. So these are some notes that you have seen from previous episode. So if you have missed out, I request you to kindly check them out so you don't miss out on the flow of the tutorials. Let's get started with chaining pipes. So what are chaining pipes? So we can use multiple pipes on a data input. That is what we call it as chaining the pipes. That means you can use more than one pipe uh, to a data input. How do you use it? So simple, we'll use the data input, whatever is the variable or the value, followed by pipe symbol, followed by the type of pipe you want to use. Again, we will attach another pipe using the pipe operator and then uppercase. So see, here there are two pipes that we are using. One is date, one is uppercase. Similarly, you can club multiple pipes depending upon the use case, but mostly you would end up using two or again, it depends upon your application. If the use case really demands using more than one, uh, more than two, more than three, you can use it. There is no limit to it. But in most cases, two or three is max you would use to sort out most of uh, anything that you have. If you have a really complex one, you can even go ahead and write a custom pipe for it. We'll learn that in the next chapter, but for now, let's focus on chaining pipes. Uh, let's get down to hands-on practical. All right, so I this is our app. Let's run it. While it is building, I'll request you friends, if you're liking the video, do like this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. All right, while it's compiling, let's take a closer look at our variable. So we had created this user as part of our learning pipes and it has some key value pairs. Um, so we'll take that and start using one of it. So um, let's load it here. Okay, so we have some data which is coming from the pipes. Um, all right, so now let's go to our app component.html. I will separate it out by throwing uh, h4 so that way we know it's the different one. All right. So now let's write a div. Okay. And in this, I'm going to use the same object, which is user dot date of birth. So let's do that. User dot dob. I'm saying apply the date pipe to it, right? Now, if you see, it is giving the output because I have applied the date pipe. So it's giving the complete date. 
now instead of this I'm going to say give me date and I want only the month right so it is giving me June June I want I'll say I want the complete name of the month right now I want to show it in uppercase I don't want to show it like this so I'm going to use uppercase filter here right so see now it has become all caps so what happened is this particular input was first applied the date pipe it goes through the date pipe it gets the July and then that goes again to a pipe which makes it uppercase so remember the execution is from left to right it will find the variable it will take the value and run it through this pipe and then it will run through the second pipe and similarly if you have more pipes you keep on adding it here you can use more than one pipe right so this particular process of using more than one pipes on a data input is called as chaining pipes right so this technology this technique is called as chaining pipes in the next uh, example we are going to write a complex little complex uh, pipe uh, which is called custom pipes so so far what we have seen are mostly the basic ones which is the built-in pipes the strings the uppercase lowercase date currency uh, we also have explored about and learned about parameterizing pipes chaining pipes this is an important topic on pipes which is often asked in your interviews as well um, so please make sure you check it out the next tutorial is about how to write a custom pipe in angular 9 stay tuned for that if you like the video give a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me thank you so much friends